How's it going everybody and welcome to the Minute Channel and today we have a different kind of video. So you guys know that I like anime and I talk about anime every once in a while. It's not like one of the biggest things that I talk about but it's sometimes certainly something that comes up every once in a while. And one of my favorite animes of all time or rather than manga is um, Death Note and lately uh, about a couple days ago uh, there was a one shot uh, written by the original creators of Death Note and uh, this one shot is pretty much my review for this because it's really good um, now Death Note was is pro was probably done about 10 years ago or so uh, at least the manga and uh, probably more than that and it had a really big a wave of reactions from people because at that note if you don't know what spot it's basically about a, a high schooler that finds a notebook which in uh, the notebook you can write people's names and people's names are written there and people can die basically and it's kind of like all the ingenious ways that you can write a book and have people get killed and everything like that so it's, it's really interesting I, f I find that whole dynamic really good uh, and interesting kind of we'll go over and everything but um this particular uh one shot takes a few years after or after what happened uh with uh, death note itself so i uh, don't really spoil or something like that but if you haven't read it or watched the anime then i encourage you to before you kind of watch this so you're kind of lost of what's going on or anything like that uh mainly uh, while i'm not going to discuss spoilers i'm very uh, interested on in how uh they talk about how some of the things that they were that was done on the original death note couldn't be done now because of the technology that we have this is an interesting point to bring up because this is something that I hadn't even really thought about like you know, how how different will that not be if it took place on the time frame that we live in uh, 2020 uh, how how different will all these different stuff that happens in the show will happen and everything like that and they really touch base on kind of that stuff like that and I find that the new character that they added the new main character and everything he was such a likable and interesting character uh, super genius as well a, in a different completely different light from uh, original light which is the original character and um i really found that this new one shot proved that the writer and the uh, creator of death note really knows his stuff when it comes to how to continue making a sequel to an already really good um series and that's pretty cool now they had done a couple different series besides death note the deep platina uh i don't remember platina something and there was this uh, other one about uh gakuman i think it was called about magaka and stuff like that which was really interesting in its own right but nothing really shined as bright as Death note in that time frame and just seeing them now come up with a new one shot for Death note it blew up my expectations it really did when i heard that they were going to do that because uh, this was announced maybe about a month or two ago that they were going to be doing a one shot and everything like that and i was like that's cool i want to I wanna check it out whenever it comes out and everything like that but it came out and uh, again my expectations were met the story was really good it's 80 pages long that is L much longer than a typical one shot. A one shot will be anything between 20 to 40 pages long, and uh, so this having an 80 pages long it was a little bit cool. Uh, and a whole story just had a sub beginning, a climax, and an end. It's a full story in just 80 pages, and it is really well made. The animation, the animation, the uh, art is just as good as in Death Note. Every single detail just feels Death Note. It, it, it has such an authentic feeling to it, and it's just really well done I, I can't say more than, more than that the uh the manga really exceeded my expectations in that i really hope that they make an ova out of it an ova if you don't know it's like a like a smaller budget uh, anime which is only like one, a few episodes long like one or two episodes long or something like that sometimes it'll be like six episodes instead of a full length anime it's just like a smaller thing uh sometimes they'll do it for manga and not like full-on anime or like that just a smaller version of that so if they did that that would be really cool because that's awesome honestly i would like them to continue uh the series unfortunately then i don't want to spoil it or anything like that uh but i don't think this possible for, so for them to continue this but it is really good guys i am very happy for this uh, as, a, as a fan of death note as a fan of of uh the series and and everything i'm very 
pleasantly surprised. I, I liked it a whole lot. And if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check the original Dead Note. If you have checked the Dead Note, you should definitely check out this uh, one shot. Anyway, that is pretty much it. My review for this here. Um, if I were to give it a number, I'll say I'll give it like a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's really that good. Um, I read two manga that are way way longer than this and are way worse than this so it's, it's saying a lot the 80 pages is well done content there anyway that is pretty much it for today if you're new please consider liking and subscribing and that's it for today i'll see you guys next time